Hi, I'm Lisa Prather, and welcome to The Voice of Health with our host, Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where lives are changed every day through the natural approach to health care. So what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> our favorite subject, stress. Favorite subject or something we, we need to talk about, huh? <laughs> And that's what we want to, you know, talk about. You know, what is the uh, the balance in life? What kind of effects that has? Because we're all about homeostasis. We're all about homeostasis and we're all about health. Mm -hmm. So applying this to our own lives is something that's very important and we can use a lot of that information for our patients. Because, uh, quite frankly, it's, it, stress is, is probably the main reason that people come into us mm -hmm. and uh, accounts for you know, a tremendous amount of the diseases and, and how much uh, stress actually, uh, you know, contributes to our disease state. There's different theories on that, but there is a, a huge correlation on the amount of stress that we have and the disease states that we actually experience. And, you know, nutrition plays a very huge role on that, the toxins that we receive, all those different types of things. But, Easily, the uh, the stress can account for thirty percent of of our disease states. Wow, thirty percent! And so th this show is for us. <laughs> are we doing this show? <laughs> we are we are doing this show for us, and then sharing it with the with the, <laughs> the audience out there, the listeners. Yeah, because <laughs> because we want to keep healthy, and a actually, if you can control your stress, your production goes up. Mm -hmm. That is one thing that uh, people have found that you actually accomplish more when you can actually find that homeostasis. Mm -hmm. uh, a very interesting thing is that Henry Ford was the first person to implement the 40-hour work week. Mm -hmm. And Henry Ford was a, a great man, but he wasn't certainly a socialist. Mm -hmm. And the reason that he implemented the 40-hour work week is that as he did studies on his, uh, his employees, he found that he was actually wasting his money by working people more than 40 hours. Mm -hmm. So that if they were working, you know, uh, 50 hours, that 10 hours that he paid for them, he really wasn't getting his money's worth. And we had a patient come in the other day, and he was tracking his hours the last three years. Mm -hmm. He worked 400 hours overtime each each year each year right yeah which has to affect your health yes wasn't it you know on the onset of the computers and technology we were supposed to have less hours per week <laughs> yeah, hasn't it, it created us working more, more hours mm -hmm. right and you know, one of the main things is to you know work smarter not harder mm -hmm. and be productive with what we're doing because Actually, once you go over, um, they found over uh, 60 hours, uh, one, you know, as you're going over 40 hours of work, mm -hmm. uh, your production actually starts to decrease with each hour that you actually work over. Mm -hmm. If you actually hit 60 hours, then there's actually a negative effect so that even the 40 hours you're working isn't really producing anything. Hmm. So I, it I just don't becomes keep track a complete, of my hours. I'm scared. Well, I, to. <laughs> I don't really want to know. <laughs> so you know, it, it actually, you know, if you overwork, it actually becomes a negative. It's something that we need to find out what is the right amount of stress, and uh, there is a homeostasis, and we talk about homeostasis in well, everything. You just said something. We're going to have stress in our lives. That's. That's just part of life, correct? Oh, and actually, a very interesting thing is no stress in your life is actually not good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what would that be like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a good, healthy range on that, and we'll talk about some of the, is about 20% is stressful in our life and 80% is relaxation. Mm -hmm. That is actually what they have found is a good, healthy balance because you need some stress uh, stimulation in your life uh, to actually keep a, a good homeostasis and keep everything working properly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're not talking about a stress-free life. That's, that's not really what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. What we're looking for is a uh, is a control, a balance, a, a thought process uh, to actually you know put your life into a into a uh, 
into homeostasis balance how to how to manage it and how to manage it interesting we manage ours in different ways and uh, we'll talk about that later very good and and we are two different people on that and that's one of the things that you have to find out because everyone's homeostasis and how they you know there's general rules on that Mm -hmm. but how they actually deal with it and and how they respond to things are, are completely different okay so what is stress, if you had to define it? Well, uh, stress. Uh, one of the things is that there has been a, actually a lot of research on stress. Mm-hmm. The first person who actually came up that stress was a, a factor in one's health was someone called Hans Selye. And in 1936, he wrote and did some experimentations and published what was called the General Adaptation Syndrome. Now, there's been a lot of work on it since then and, and a lot of uh, redefining, but his main uh, point was that stress on the bodies, and, and that can be a lot of different types of ways, was the major cause of, of disease. He did uh, some very, very excellent experimentation where he found that stress would cause uh, uh, hormonal collapses, that it would actually cause digestive failure, uh, it actually would lead to cardiovascular disease, cancer, all the different types of things that we're talking about. It can actually lead to a breakdown and a premature aging of the body. One of the things that I, I promote and talk about is that all creatures live to be 10 times their age of puberty. And I'm talking about biological age. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the mayfly reaches sexual maturity at one day, and they live to be 10 10 days old. Uh, If you look at our cats and dogs, uh, you know, they reach a sexual maturity at about uh, uh, a year, and they live to be about 12 years old. As you're looking at each of the different types of animals out there, they naturally will live to be 10 times their age of puberty. Humans actually will reach uh, sexual maturity at about... uh, yeah, somewhere between uh, 12 and 16, mm-hmm. depending on each individual. So we should be living to be about 120 to 160 years old, which is biologically actually what we reach. Mm-hmm. But we are under... <laughs> it's just how quickly we reach it. Yeah, just how quickly we're... We, you know, because there's chronological age, which is your number of years, then there's biological age, which is a measurement of your, the aging of your body. And there are scientific ways to actually figure that out. And and different organs can age at different uh, rates. And when they wear out, then we get into the whole, uh, you know, uh, early death and uh, disease and all those types of things. And people actually reach that at at different times. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, as we are as we are looking at this, every time that you do not handle stress well, you know, if everything is not going as it should then we start to get into the premature aging, the creation of disease, the breakdown of the different areas. Uh, you know, you're talking about all sorts of things that usually come from that. You're talking about, you know, insomnia, depression, anxiety. Uh, the hormones, uh, it's the leading reason that uh, we have hormonal failure that's going on. Um, you know, what are all the different signs that you're looking for? Digestive problems can really start kicking up from that the insomnia, the depression, uh, the mood swings. Uh, One of the biggest things is if you're overstressed, then uh, you have a a loss of libido Mm -hmm. uh, is one of the early signs along those lines. That's an early sign, yeah. So, you know, as we're looking at these things, that all needs to be considered. Okay. You can win a free 60-minute massage in a relaxing spa at the Prather Practice. Each month, we have a drawing to give away a free massage to one of our lucky Facebook and Twitter fans. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of the Prather Practice. One of the most basic fundamentals that uh, that I base my practice off of is something called the atlas orthogonal mm-hmm. uh, technique. It's the type of adjustment. It's a it's a specific type of an adjustment, and orthogonal means at right angles. In other words, the the head is sitting on top of your of your body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a good thing. And that's a good thing uh, because about eighty percent of the people don't have that. Mm-hmm. And it has a probably one of the greatest effects on the entire system. You're saying 80% of people don't have 
the right the atlas sitting on, on underneath the uh, skull now the uh, atlas proper. we're talking about is the first vertebrae first vertebrae under the occiput so uh, a basic type of thing and and what i found is that that probably has the biggest effect on the health of an individual over anything else mm-hmm. so you can actually make the greatest amount of changes with the uh with the atlas getting it in the right position because it's right there at the uh, base of the skull, which is the uh, center of the autonomic nervous system. Mm, the base uh, which, of the skull. Which actually controls all the functions of the body. So the atlas orthogonal is uh, the, one of the big bases of what we do and has the biggest effect on the health of the individual. And really to make any types of changes in the rest of the system to help the body to work correctly, uh, that's the beginning of where you need to start. And Mm -hmm. when I'm actually working with patients, I make sure that that's in position. Now, of course, 20% of the people don't have a problem with that. Uh So we go on to So not everybody that walks in the office has that issue. And Not everybody who walks into the office has that issue. But getting that corrected is absolutely essential to, for me to make the other postural changes and to make the changes in the system. And I want to um, bring up here, you're, you're board certified in the Atlas Orthogonal Technique, the only one in the state of Indiana. Um, got your training down in Atlanta. Right. Um, so extensive training. I was one of the original six. Mm-hmm. in that so uh, that's a huge basis so th- there's a very strong belief system in that and then also I had my greatest amount of changes in my health through this particular type mm-hmm. of adjustment so uh, I can speak from a personal type of standpoint find out how the Atlas Orthogonal Chiropractic Adjustment can transform your health schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice 317-848-8048 that's 317-848-8048 or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, Restoring Hope. Are you frustrated by not getting to the root cause of your health issue? Are you tired of not knowing why you're always fatigued? Are you wanting to say no to toxic drugs? Have you lost hope? Are you just tired of being sick and tired? At the Prather Practice, we want you to know that we have the answers for you. We offer the alternative to the disease care model. We are the drug-free model to health and wellness. At the Prather Practice, we look for the underlying cause of your health problem and not just the symptomatology. Through thorough diagnostics, we find your individual health blueprint for your treatment. Where the disease care model is symptom-based, the structure function model we practice gets to the root of your health issue. The Prather Practice is the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. Our integrated practice offers you the most treatment options to restore your health and your hope. Learn more about the Prather Practice by calling 317-848-8048 or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. And I'm feeling You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, the most comprehensive wellness center in the Midwest. Today, we're talking about stress and how it affects our health. In our first segment, we um, we started talking about the effect stress has on our um, health. Mm -hmm. And um, let's talk a little bit. You had mentioned the general adaptation syndrome. What exactly is that? And I know there's stages involved. Certainly. There, you know, when you actually become stressed, there is a natural response of the body where there is, first off, a uh, change in the uh, hormonal system, in the nervous system. Uh, the digestive system actually shuts down, uh, you know, slows down uh, quite considerably because the body's actually putting blood into the, uh, t- into the muscles. So there's a whole response, and basically you're you're getting ready to either uh, fight or run, mm-hmm. uh, what they call the fight flight. The sympathetic actually, nervous system. Sympathetic nervous what? system mm-hmm. kicks in, and basically what's happening is if a tiger walks into the cave that you were living in, the last thing you want to do is to be worrying about digesting your meal. Right. You have to be ready <laughs> right, to, <you're... laughs> to fight it or run. Mm. And so your body's ready to go, and sometimes you can even have some superhuman-type strength to actually handle the situation. Well, we don't have too many tigers right now, Mm-hmm. But we have a lot of other things that are going on. 
we can have a, a boss that's yelling at us, or in our case, employees that are giving problems. And mm -hmm. uh, the problem is, is that oftentimes the way that we should be responding to that is not actually socially appropriate now. Mm -hmm. So your body gets really worked up and you're under a tremendous amount of stress and it's real difficult to hit somebody or to run away because you have to be there. Right. So we have social mores right now that can actually keep us from going into the next stage, which is what they call the resistance stage. That's where you have the changes that take place in your body. You have the physical desire to actually do something about it. And if you actually have some physical activity, you get a release on that, then the body goes back into homeostasis, naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay, So there's a, a release along those lines, and we then start to reshift back into a homeostasis. Now, again, I said that actually having that response on a periodic basis is actually good. Mm-hmm. About 20% of the time in, in, you know, as we're dealing with things. But if you go for eight hours in a day where you're in that first stage, the alarm stage, that is not healthy. That first stage where you're in that sympathetic mode, is that what you mean? Where you're in that fight-flight stage. And you have nowhere to go. And you have nowhere to go. No punching bag. You, yeah, you can't really hit something. Uh, <laughs> you can't run away. Or there's a reassurance of, oh, the tiger just moved on. Mm -hmm. You don't have that shift back into a homeostasis where your body's actually shifting back to its normal stage. Then you actually, if that continues for a long period of time, then you get into an exhaustion stage. Mm -hmm. Because the body is not built to go over 20% on an average in a day. If that's on a continual basis where it's, it's constantly going, the, the homeostasis is completely off in the body. Mm -hmm. And you start to get a a um, a disease state where they would actually find that the adrenals would shrink, there would be changes in the thyroid, pituitary function wouldn't be up to par, uh, your digestive system isn't working right, uh, you actually start to see ulcers, there is a change in the whole pH of the body, so the chemical reactions aren't working right, the hormones shift in, into the system, because one of the things is if you're being chased by the tiger, last thing you want to be thinking about is sex. So that whole area just kind of shuts down in your system. Mm -hmm. And your body is is constantly doing that. And uh, you start to put on weight. It's one of the largest reasons that people get fat, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the mid where you start to see the swelling into the gut. Mm -hmm. Your thyroid starts n not working well. Your adrenals, you can't think because the chemistry in your brain's not working right. You can't. Uh, there's actually a decrease in IQ. If you're caught up in that, the last thing you want to do is fall down and go to sleep so you can't sleep anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, you see all these different right. types of patterns, and if you're stuck in that, how are you going to be... The main thing that you're trying to do is accomplish different things in production. We're thinking about what we need to do to be productive in our, you know, in our management of our office. And if you get stuck in that, you cannot be productive. Hmm. You are actually defeating yourself before you even begin. Mm -hmm. So the basic things that you're looking to accomplish are no longer, you are no longer capable of doing them, which actually then creates a whole nother stress response. Right. So you get stress on top of stress because now you can't do the things that you need to do. So there has to be a, a, a backing off on that, a recharging of the system to actually get back into a productive state where you're actually thinking clearly where your body actually has the energy to actually accomplish the neat things that you need to do. And you have to get back into homeostasis. Yeah, I'm, I'm stressed out now. <laughs> <laughs> Have I completely stressed you? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also want to provide some answers. Mm -hmm. That's also what we're here for. I'm yeah, not... And it's a real stressful time for people. Uh, you know, yes. Now I hear that all the time, and uh, as I get older... <laughs> you know? yeah. As you get older, when I was in ability... my twenties and thirties. I, you know, sure. Do I, that, but... Well, I mean, what we were doing was pulling off of our off of our ability, our hormones. You know, is one of the big areas that we actually pull from reserves on. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And as we get older, we can't do that. Mm-hmm. They're just not as strong. Mm-hmm. So, so we pull from there. When we actually pull from there. It's a good il- illustration. I mean, there's a whole chemical and hormonal type of a balance that I understand, mm-hmm. uh, which I am not going to get into. Uh-huh. Uh, completely put our audience but are you, to sleep. Are you talking about... Cortisol levels, things like that. Cortisol levels, there's a whole shift on the hormonals that actually start to occur. The adrenals kick in, adrenaline, cortisol. There's a whole shift along those lines. Uh So the big things that we need to do is to do some good diagnostics. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So as we can get into the, the diagnostics, we can actually understand what has gone wrong with the homeostasis because it's different for each person. So what kind of um, diagnostics do you do? Blood work actually can show it up. And we can actually measure from your diagnostics, you know, the blood work, Mm -hmm. uh, how stressed you are. Oh, how do you do that? Well, there is a a patterns on that. There is the carbon dioxide levels uh, actually can show up as far as the stress level. Uh, What the hormones, the balance, you know, the shift on the hormones, which we do a, a full panel on. Uh, We can tell that people are actually very stressed along those lines. There is several different blood tests. Uh, The pH starts to shift. You become more acidic. Mm -hmm. So I can uh, bring up the blood work, and I can, even though they haven't said anything about stress, I said, wow, you are really stressed. Mm Mm-hmm. And the person you goes, say it like that? I, I Yeah, I actually <laughs> say it like that. And, and the person goes, yeah, how'd you know? Well, you know, I can look at your blood work and tell it. Hmm. And different people actually put their stress in different areas. You know, what show do you up. mean by that? Oh. Well, there are, uh, you know, there are a lot of different types of people out there. Mm-hmm. And uh, some people have a failure in the digestive system. Some people have it more in the hormonal. Uh, some people carry it in their muscles. Uh, different people actually carry their stress differently in their different organs. Mm-hmm. So they can actually have different types of failures that actually go on according to their body type, their constitutions, and uh, just their personality. Mm-hmm. So where they hold it. Where they actually hold it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can also feel that as I'm actually checking people's, you know, doing the exam, as I'm checking the different areas. Some people hold it up in their shoulders. Some people hold it in their low back. Mm -hmm. Uh, Some people hold it in their feet. Uh, Of course, you know, I'm a chiropractor. One of the common things that people are coming in is low back pain. Mm -hmm. Uh, The most common denominator for people with low back pain is how much they enjoy their job. Mm -hmm. So if people really hate their job, uh, their chances of having... uh, That is the most... Interesting. The most common theme and the most common cause of low back pain is that they really don't like their job hmm. so, so they're holding their stress they're holding their stress it's like there. men hold their stress a lot more in their low back no that's actually true mm-hmm. uh feet i i have people who have curled up their feet and they carry all their stress in their feet mm-hmm. uh you know so there is a there is a very direct correlation and once i get my hands on people uh, you know, I can pretty well tell where their stress level is. And when they come in, uh, I said, wow, we had a really bad week, th- didn't we? Yeah. Where do you hold yours? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't hold stress. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is in my legs, isn't it? Because oh, yeah, you know, yeah. times. Yeah. Uh, a little out bit of restless, restless leg syndrome. Yeah. yeah. When you are really stressed. Mm-hmm. So, you know, as we can kind of look at those different types of things, then we can get pick up a awful lot of that. And how can we actually take it from there Mm -hmm. to uh, work with that? That's interesting, though. You know, you're saying people hold it in in different areas. Sure. Um, You know, they're coming in with muscle spasms or um, pain. Um, So, you know, one of the things that we're always trying to do is actually reestablish the homeostasis for people. Mm, Okay. Well, up next, we're going to talk about treatments for stress Um, and how helpful they can be. Listen to the Voice of Health Radio on your smartphone or tablet on all of the top radio apps available. Tune in Radio, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. You can find these apps and more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. This is the Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. Laughter is the best medicine. I used to have ADHD, but y'all, I dropped the H. I'm too old. 
I'm too old to be that hyper. I'm now just attention deficit disordered. And I was, what was I talking about? Detailed lab tests are crucial to understanding your health. As Dr. Prather always says, if you don't test, you don't know. There are certain lab tests that all of us should have at least once per year. At the Prather Practice, we recommend three affordable tests that provide the blueprint to your health. The Prather Profile is the most comprehensive blood analysis available, providing more information about the function of your body than any other test. Minerals are the common deficiencies in the body, and hair analysis is the most effective way to analyze minerals. Mineral levels. The bowels have the largest influence on the immune system, and the best way to test that is through the GI Effects Stool Kit. The Prather Profile Blood Analysis and the GI Effects Stool Kit are even covered by most insurances. Don't guess when it comes to your health. Discover the blueprint to your health at the Prather Practice by calling us at 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. The Prather Practice. Restoring hope. But stress and how it affects our health, which is pretty alarming, you know. No pun intended. Why, what did I say? Uh, the the uh, alarm <laughs> stage. That's okay. <laughs> At the time, I, 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 don't I like really. I like how you said stress. <laughs> <laughs> you do that well. <laughs> Did it sound like I was in the sympathetic nervous system? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's usually where I go, by the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we do have a punchy bag down in our basement, maybe. <laughs> hey, don't talk to me about talk, talk about me like that. <laughs> yeah, we, we put you in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've been very good uh, for me on the stress level. I, I, I grew up in a, in a stressful home, and mm-hmm. um, I don't know if it's just Italians or, you know, we were... We just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, a very interesting thing is that uh, some people actually think that you have to be stressed to accomplish anything. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's not, that's not true at all. Mm-hmm. You know, actually, in the relaxation response, your brain actually works better. I think that's what you've taught me, or just when to say enough's enough. You sure. know, um, you know, one thing I know that as you're um, working with people and healing people, mm-hmm. I mean, there has to be a lot of stress. But I know you use the time from when you leave the office to you get home to kind of de-stress. Sure. Um, so you're not bringing it at home, which, yeah. you know, your family and, and I appreciate, you know. Right. And that might be something, you know, to share with our audience how you do that, because you're very good at that. I mean, I see you work, and I know what, what you, um, you, you know, you have to be on all the time. You're, I mean, you've been called to heal people, and that's what you're doing. Certainly, and, and people aren't necessarily in the best mood at that point. No, when they're in pain. We have great patients. Certainly. And, and to see the transformation pretty it quickly. is very rewarding. Yeah. But I have to be a calming influence. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, you are. Uh, that's basically what we're... And uh, now, <laughs> not all the time. Uh, there are times where I can, I can be, you know... Overstressed. I mean, you've seen me in that stage. Mm-hmm. But uh, for the most part, I have actually worked quite strongly on how to work with that. My uh, mentor, the the gentleman that I actually uh, interned with when I was out in chiropractic school and outside, uh, Dr. Roy Sweat, uh, taught me a tremendous amount about that. Hmm. Uh, you know, how to deal with patients, how to not let that get to you, how to actually keep a good homeostasis as you are, are, are even you know, working on the patients. Mm-hmm. Because he said it was very important that you do that. Mm-hmm. So uh, you, know, you could actually be good at what you're doing because uh, I'm doing a tremendous amount of thinking, a tremendous amount of problem solving on each uh, and every patient, far more than the patients have any idea of what I'm doing, all that I'm going through. Right. Sometimes I have to tell them, you are focused on them, you know, because sometimes they want more communication. I know you're, you're so focused on Certainly. Them. Certainly, and, oh, yeah. and yeah, and, and I'm not just a, a natural uh, talker. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> you know, that's not, you know, so oftentimes I'm quiet. I'm actually going through a whole lot of processes on what's going on in the patient. Mm-hmm. What would be the best route to actually approach this? Uh, you know, even t- sometimes figuring out exactly what actually has occurred on the patient. Well, I make up for your lack of talking. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the women in the office do. <laughs> But uh, it, it, it is something that uh, actually learning how to do that is, is extremely important. And one of the things is that people are coming in, and one of the things that you know, we are definitely trying to do is reverse this process in people. Mm-hmm. You know, to actually make some dramatic changes more than... Because once you are actually stuck in this mount, ro- you know, in this road, yeah. you're kind of stuck on it. Mm-hmm. People can't, you know, you sit there and one of the, you know, uh, one of the fun things is, is relax, relax, relax. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're actually checking someone and someone's real tight, you know, tell them just to relax, it usually just tightens them up more. Right. You know, <laughs> that doesn't really work. So, you know, we have methods of, of getting that shifted. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, let's talk about things. that. You know, okay. the treatments at our office, and I was just thinking yesterday. You know, people coming in, uh, so they had gotten acupuncture, and what what a difference one yes. session can make, and just and just the stress. So, what treatments do you offer at the Prather Wellness Center that help with stress? Well, one of the the first things that you know people can think of is the chiropractic. There are, you know, uh, a tremendous amount of alignment that we do that will take off a tremendous, uh, a lot of stress on the body. The nervous system is one of the great controllers of the system. So if you have uh, pressure on the nervous system uh, shown by, you know, some misalignment, bringing that back up into position can dramatically reduce the amount of stress that the body has on it. Mm-hmm. You know, having a cons- uh, consistent type of a pressure on the nervous system, uh, imbalance on that, uh, will produce a tremendous amount of stress in and of itself without any other outside stress. Mm-hmm. So as we get people lined up, people are amazed at how much better they do. Uh, you know, people say, wow, you know, I, I've had the adjustments and, uh, you know, my, my cold and flu went away. Mm-hmm. Well, what you're doing is you're reducing the amount of stress on the body and all of a sudden you get a change. Uh, one of the studies that has been done is up in Chicago with uh, Dr. Dickholt's office was that uh, this was actually a published study that chiropractic was actually more effective than uh, blood pressure medicine on reducing blood pressure. Why is that? Well, you're reducing the stress off the body. Stress is one of the main reasons that blood pressure goes up. So you're making some huge physiological changes through the chiropractic. Uh, Sometimes there isn't actually a whole lot of misalignments that people have, but as they come in, we do some releases on the muscle. Uh, uh, There are some blockages and locking up of the sacrum. As you can get that release, then you can actually get a tremendous amount of uh, stress release off of that. TMJ adjustments. Mm. Uh, that is not always, but probably 70% of the time, uh, temporal mandibular joint is caused by stress. You know, getting the, the jaw release, getting all these different types of muscles released, and people feel an immediate difference with the chiropractic care. Uh, another, you know, the, the whole body work type of area. You know, mm-hmm. you're talking about massage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, that is absolutely one of the most wonderful stress releasers out there. We have a beautiful spa area too, and that actually makes a big difference there. I just, if I need to, area. just get a little break. Yeah. Yeah, I go use the restrooms over there at the spa. <laughs> so that's when I can't find you. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to talk to you, no, and that's all of a sudden you, you disappear. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> Well, what about auricular therapy? I know there's certain points on the ear um, and um, that help with stress sure. specifically. And I know as I'm working with people on the auricular therapy, you can you just see their breathing change. And Absolutely. A lot of them fall asleep and are so relaxed. Certainly. And auricular therapy is a, a electrical stimulation of ear points. 
And there are specific points on there for relaxation and anxiety, stress relief. And those are one of the ones that we always hit. But absolutely, what we're doing is we are working with auricular therapy. Basically, that's our brain therapy. Mm -hmm. Uh, The person who actually had made auricular therapy pretty famous was Dr. Norget, a a French uh, brain surgeon. And he had actually taken uh, people's skulls off and had actually mapped the brain. And as he was doing that, he also hit points on the ears and found uh, uh, chemical changes, electrical changes in the brain. It's actually mapped in a, in the most proven therapy in the entire world on exactly on its effect. And we use the auricular therapy for the body's perception of itself on how it actually changes. And anything that we think is locked up in the neurochemistry in the brain, that's the treatment that we go to. Uh, addictions are extremely beneficial on that. Any type of uh, uh, mental illness, depression, anxiety, it's extremely effective. And absolutely, one of the things that has been documented is as you are doing auricular therapy, there is a huge shift in the physiology where you actually shift from that uh, parasympathetic fight-flight over to a uh, 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 parasympathetic uh, rest and digest Mm -hmm. so that is one way that we can make a dramatic shift on someone and bring them right into that that (laughs) i can talk about that because yesterday uh, our nurse practitioner was very busy and um was getting a little stressed and you were coming down the hall and i said um watch him breathe because you do that the deep breathing all day long Mm-hmm. And that keeps you in that parasympathetic mode, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And when people are in pain, um, just thinking of someone that was in yesterday and was having even a hard time sitting down, and you can just see him holding his breath. Mm-hmm. You know, if we just go, um, and I'm trying to learn that, just go to that deep breathing. Sure. Yeah. And as I'm doing different types of adjustments, one thing that I do is reflex adjusting. And I'm actually working on shifting, and you can actually see their breathing change uh, with the acupuncture too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had uh, actually a um, quite a few uh, law students start coming in because they were going through you know their big tests, mm-hmm. uh, also some CPA exams, uh, and the word kind of spread. And they were actually taking different types of medicines, you know, for focus. And uh, one guy was taking actually Adderall on that. And uh, he had heard about acupuncture, came in and said, wow, this works a lot better. Mm. You know, just because he was able to calm down, start to think and actually function. Yeah. Well, up next, we'll be talking about different things that you can do also from home to relieve stress. Never miss an episode of The Voice of Health so that you can stay informed and empowered about your health. Get a podcast of our show automatically delivered to you every week by signing up for our show on iTunes. You can find that link on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. And don't forget, thevoiceofhealthradio.com has complete archives of all of our past episodes with an audio library of information to help you add more life to your years and more years to your life. This is The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather. The Voice of Health Wellness Tip with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice. Dr. Prather, you use homeopathy in the Prather practice. How important is it in the treatment of your patients? It's sort of our secret weapon. Mm -hmm. You know, homeopathy isn't really that easy to use because you need to get the exact type of settings. You need to get the proper use of it. There's 3,000 classical homeopathics. There's 8,000 that have been added since then. You can do a tremendous amount of different types of homeopathics, and there's a wide range of choice. The secret to a good homeopath and getting the success that you need is to be able to find out which remedy is going to work the best for an individual. Being able to find that is not an easy process. If you don't get a proper match, you aren't going to get any results. Now, one of the great things about homeopathy is if you get the wrong thing, it's no big deal. There's no harm with homeopathy. That's one of the the fantastic things about it. The other 
other thing that's great about homeopathy is you can see the results very quickly. When you give it to an individual, you can see whether you got the right match or not immediately. And I can almost always prove to the patient that it was the right thing. It's something that isn't just placebo because the animal homeopathy is absolutely wonderful. I've had several veterinarians come in and say, you know, I saw amazing results with my animals and they certainly don't go with placebos. So homeopathy definitely works along those lines and it is our secret weapon. We can get the results that other people can't get because of our homeopathy. You talked about homeopathy not having side effects. Why is that? Homeopathy doesn't work on a chemical level. It works on a electromagnetic or a vibrational level. What it does is it stimulates the body's own reaction so that the body takes care of the problem that's occurring, the disease process. It doesn't force the body to do anything. Now, there are times where you need to force the body to do something where the body is no longer responsive, but homeopathy does not do that, so you will never get a side effect with homeopathy. That's nice. And the AMA has kept track of uh, homeopathy for 200 years, and they've never had an instance of a homeopathic damage to an individual. Never. We're running into problems with pharmaceuticals. Antibiotics are no longer working. We're in a pretty much in a post-antibiotic world. We have to find alternatives. Otherwise, we're going to have some real major epidemics that occur. Schedule your appointment at the Prather Practice, 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Or learn more on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. The Prather Practice, Restoring Hope. You're listening to The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather of The Prather Practice, where our mission is restoring hope to our patients. Today, we're talking about stress and how it affects our health. And, um, you know, we're just playing music, too. Music has a big role. Mm. I know, um, you know, as I'm driving to work, what I'm focusing on is it, you know, for me, I need something uplifting and calming. Music is a a very big way that we can actually reduce our stress levels. Mm -hmm. Now, before we went to break, we were talking about different treatments at the Prather Wellness Center that... Um, help with stress, Mm -hmm. was there any others that we hadn't gotten to? Well, uh, there are actually a ton of different ways that we can actually do that. We have um, uh, different types of modalities, diathermy. We've got like 12 different types of electrical stimulation. Uh, All of those different types of things. That doesn't sound (laughs) relaxing. Well, actually, a lot of them can take down pain and right. are actually very relaxing. Diathermy is it kind of warms you up and gets the circulation going. People oftentimes fall asleep with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then also, of course, nutritional. Uh, you know, you know, there's a tremendous amount that's involved with that, and as we help to achieve homeostasis, then we can get a big response on people. Uh, getting the nutrients that people need. You know, you can be low on your B vitamins, and we can actually give different types of things that can have a a huge uh, relaxation type of effect on them. So if you are imbalanced in your physiology, you are low on different types of vitamins, fatty acids, amino acids, uh, as you get those into the system and you get your body back into homeostasis, the body will actually start to do that, uh, that, that, that response to actually bring you back so that you aren't stressed Mm -hmm. because one of the things that occurs when you are stressed there is a wearing out of your digestive system hormones but also your minerals and vitamins one of the things that we can see on people is when they're you know absolutely stressed i had a uh, a wife uh, told her husband and forced him to come into our office Mm-hmm. Because in the business that they were in, there was actually a, uh, uh, the business was going down, and there had been three guys who had had heart attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she says, you aren't having a heart attack, you know, you are stressed out of your mind, you go in and see, you know, Dr. Prather. Mm-hmm. And we did a blood test on him, of course, doing the diagnostics, and then I want to emphasize how important that is. 
and his magnesium was so low that the lab called me and with an emergency phone call said, you need to get a hold of this guy and get him on magnesium immediately. Mm-hmm. Because what happens, especially with males, is that they eat their, you know, when you're under stress, you use up a lot of magnesium. Women, it's usually more potassium. Interesting. But if you actually start to get too low on that, he was ready for a heart attack like any second. Mm. So these guys that are real stressed, high businessmen, they're out on the golf course, and uh, they fall over dead from a heart attack, you know, unexplained, uh, wasn't expected. Usually the stress has actually depleted a nutritional. Mm -hmm. Usually, for men, it's usually magnesium. And uh, they are ready to, uh, to die from it. And so, so that's you, where stress can actually. And you kill. can find this out with your blood on the blood test. Then. Absolutely, that's why the blood panels are so important. And we told him, you know, stop at a, a, the first health health food store he gets, and uh, buy some magnesium. Start taking. it. I said, which one? I said, all of them. <laughs> and start to take it until you actually get some diarrhea. Then you know you got it up to par. And th- that saved that man life. He literally had less than forty eight hours. Well, you hear about that. You know, I was talking to a patient yesterday who's. Uh, father-in-law, same thing. Just you know, died like that. Died yeah. like that. Yeah, and mm-hmm. and that there's a there's something going on. Sure, stress can kill you. Mm-hmm. Stress can kill you, and you can you can actually reverse a lot of that through meeting the nutritional needs. But of course, you have to find out what they are, and we can find out exactly what vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fatty acids that you need that your body has actually been using up uh, an over. Uh, supply and then once you actually have that down it's hard to re- you know you need to have to have supplementation to get it back up to par okay and we do that through the diagnostics so nutrition is absolutely critical on that mm-hmm. now one of the other things that we uh, have on that that uh, isn't you know found in a lot of places is homeopathic mm-hmm. uh, I was there was uh, actually uh, a, a young lady who, well, not young, she was in her 40s. That's uh, young. <laughs> but uh, she was uh, under a tremendous amount of stress with family problems and uh, other different types of issues, uh, financial. And uh, we had given her a, a homeopathic, and uh, she said, Oh, I love this thing. It has just changed my life. She says, As soon as I start feeling that panic, uh, you know, she can feel her heart starting to race. Uh, she can actually take that homeopathic for what was her constitutional mm. uh, and feel an immediate change. Can I get what she's getting? <laughs> <laughs> well, we put you on one. You are a sepia. Uh-huh. We can talk about that. And uh, because everyone has And you're a talking about constitutional remedies, yeah. Uh, homeopathic remedies. And if you get the constitution for you, then that can actually make a, a very big difference on your stress response. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and you felt that before. Mm-hmm. Where you've taken that and had a, a calming effect. Uh, so people can actually have some homeopathics, and then we can actually design homeopathics for uh, people's different types of problems. Uh, the, you know, at any age, I was I had a, uh, a mother bring in her daughter. Her daughter had been uh, not her usual sweet self. Mm-hmm. And I made up a uh, homeopathic for pulsatilla, gave it to the daughter, and uh, she called back and she said, I got my daughter back. And that was within, you know, six hours. Wow. And whenever she starts to see that, I, I need some more pulsatilla. So you can find those homeopathics that are specific for people, and you need to have someone who, for homeopathic to work correctly, someone who knows how to diagnose that, which I'm very good at, mm-hmm. has a great understanding of homeopathics, can really check it out, get the right dosage, because there are uh, you know, literally uh, a, a billion different settings for each homeopathic. So not only do you need to find out there's 3,000 uh, classical homeopathics. There's 8,000 um, non-classical homeopathics. There's no sods. And finding out exactly which one is actually a real art, and you have to have someone who's very skilled in that. Yeah. So that's a great way to do that, and that's something people can take home with them. Right, right. And actually practice. Well, let's talk about how we... Um we activate the relaxation response. That's kind of... <laughs> and that's actually a new thing. One of the things is Herbert Benson, an MD, who is uh, doing a lot of research, and he actually started an institute on stress, 
uh, found that not only do you just avoid the fight flight, but you can actually activate a relaxation response. Hmm. And there are different ways to actually accomplish that. And he did that by actually studying the people who do transcendental meditation. Okay. Now, you, you know, not necessarily that that's for people, but he had found and did a lot of research on people who meditated, you know, did deep breathing, mm -hmm. uh, did some uh, clearing of the mind, uh, and found that uh, there was actually a huge amount of physiological uh, release and that there was actually a reversal of a, of the damage that had con that had a occurred reversal. Wow. of a lot of the, uh, no, not all of it, right. but of the uh, general adaptation syndrome. Mm -hmm. So you can actually reverse a lot of that if you can get into and actually activate that, uh, that relaxation response. Mm -hmm. And there are many different types of ways to do that. And it's going to be different for everybody, right? And different people like different types of things. Uh, I am, uh, my big thing is I like to do Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. And that's, that, is, that is very much right along the relaxation response. Mm -hmm. uh, yoga. Uh, I have patients who said, I've got to get back into yoga. Because it has, you know, changed my life on how I how I do things. Yours is tennis. Mm -hmm. Being you know, active. Being yeah. active. You know, basically running around and hitting things. <laughs> <laughs> well, well been, yeah, and the other thing I was thinking, meditation, it's hard for me just to, to sit still and empty my mind. But what I do is journal. Oh, and journaling is my type of meditation. Sure. Because that way I'm getting out by writing on a page mm -hmm. what I'm feeling. Oh, yeah, and that's yeah. that's excellent. You know, and and looking at all It's hard to get my mind things. blank. <laughs> 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 and that, that that's you know part of the whole personality type of thing. Right. You know, uh, some people it's just like yoga own, oh, you know, there's no way you're going to get me into yoga. Mhm. Mm you know, uh, Tai Chi, there are people who have tried Tai Chi and said, well, you know, there, there, you know, Tai Chi does not appeal to you at all. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, tennis, <laughs> tennis is actually a very good thing. You, you think about it, one, uh, when you have the fight flight, you know, you need to be able to run mm -hmm. and you need to be able to fight. <laughs> well, us, us ladies are funny. I mean, um, their time we call it angry tennis. <laughs> it's angry tennis time <laughs> we all know where you know what kind of weeks we've had depending right. on how hard we're hitting that ball <laughs> yeah and th that's actually a great response because your body feels like okay you're beating the heck out of the tiger yeah and you're also running around uh -huh. so we you can know. name that tiger too can't we? <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually get a great response on that and that's another way to do that. Uh, another thing that we like to do is, you know, set the mood at night. Yes. You know, uh, a, uh, a aromatherapy smells are actually excellent. Mm -hmm. So we like to have, uh, you know... Um, well, our daughter lavender. last night, who hasn't been feeling well the last couple of days, sure. um, we put the lavender can candle on for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We like to do candles. It's just... Sure. Yeah. Incense, mm -hmm. excellent way of actually hitting different types of ways of getting some relaxation. Mm -hmm. uh, so smell is an excellent way. Candles, uh, dimming the light kind of creates a different type of uh, response on us. Taking a bath mm -hmm. is uh, an excellent way of actually, you know, creating that. Having a nice mood in your... Uh, in your bedroom for without the television without Which, television yeah. because that's not necessarily a, a great way to actually you know kind of get yourself all wound down well we have about 10 seconds to close the show uh one of the big things that i also want to point out is breathing mm. you know mm -hmm. one of the things that you mentioned so breathing is extremely important okay well thank you dr prather we could probably even talk more and more on this absolutely on this topic of stress the Prather Practice is located at 8902 North Meridian Street on the north side of Indianapolis, just south of the I-465 loop. If we can help you to achieve better health, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with our office at 317-848-8048. That's 317-848-8048. Join us again here next week or anytime on our website at thevoiceofhealthradio.com. For The Voice of Health with Dr. Robert Prather.